So I wanted to have a quick little discussion going about festival headliners because there's been the same bands for years and years and years now and we want to know who's going to step up, who's going to be the next headlining band and that's what I want to discuss with you guys and also in the comments below. So tell me what you will think will be the next festival, big festival headliners because you know throughout the years we've always had the same kind of ones over and over again the Iron Maidens, the Black Sabbaths, the Metallicas and more recently Slipknot has been headlining a lot but what happens when these bands retire you know because a lot of them again are on a lot of them are like you know 60s 70s they're not gonna be around forever you know bands like ACDC, Guns N' Roses, you know, the old rock bands as well Iron Maiden and stuff they've got members that are in the late 60s so realistically they're gonna retire soon um so what's gonna be the big drawing power of a festival because i've been to loads of festivals before been going since i was 13 uh, and it's always been like iron maiden metallica and stuff like that and it's always kind of drawn me in and some people say oh it's the same shit over and over again i kind of like it because i love that style of metal um so i'm thinking what's going to draw me into the next festivals like I know Download this year had a lot of new bands, well, I say new, newer bands like Fall Out Boy, Queens of the Stone Age, and uh, Ben Sevenfold, even though Ben Sevenfold have been around for a while as well. But it didn't draw me in, I didn't buy a ticket because I don't know, I, Iron Maiden would make me buy a ticket, Metallica made me buy a ticket last year, but these bands just didn't do it for me. So I'm trying to think of the next big metal headliner bands because you know queens of stone age is kind of rock you know what i mean um fall out boy that's pop punk <laughs> event sevenfold the only one out of the three that was metal uh, and some people scream like metalcore isn't metal but compared to the other two it's the most metal of the three um but again it didn't draw me in seen them a couple of times anyway so i'm thinking like what's the next big band what's the next big rock band is going to be and one side of the argument is there isn't going to be any. All the big rock bands are going to be dead and gone. And there's not going to be another big Iron Maiden style band or a big Metallica style band that will take the world by storm. Now that's not to say there's not big and upcoming bands because, you know, Sleep Token is kind of rising through the ranks and they're becoming really popular. And, you know, they could potentially headline one day. I don't think they're quite there yet, but one day. Ghost is another one. They've headlined second stages. They've sub-headliner, stuff like that. So I feel like Ghost is probably the closest to being a headliner. But again, it's not the same kind of style as an Iron Maiden or Metallica or as Black Sabbath. So really, like in my opinion, that era is kind of dead and gone. Um, which is sad to say because I love that era. But I do love these newer bands as well. Like Ghost, I love. I love seeing Ghost all the time. Last year when I saw them, it was my favourite set of the fucking weekend. <laughs> which is wild, but it is. I wouldn't say the the next big, you know, I made them the next big metal band because they're kind of rock, pretty much rock. But I can see them headlining. I can see them headlining, and I would go to that show. But I'm thinking, what other bands could fill the shoes? What other bands nowadays can fill the shoes? Because you know, you had Slipknot, and sure, you could say Corn could come up and become a headliner. Um, two new metal bands. Uh, they draw big crowds though, so. Kudos to them. Ramstein is one that will still be around for a little bit, I reckon, after the other ones have gone. They have great live shows, so that's probably like the last big, big metal band that will be headlining stuff. Slipknot and Ramstein, those two, the last kind of stadium heavy kind of bands. I'm just trying to rack my brain to think of any others that can step up to the table. And my mind is blank. I can't think of any that could step up and fill the shoes, the mighty shoes of Metallica, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, or, you know, go even further back, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple. You know what I mean? Um, I, I can't think of any nowadays that are that big. Now, of course, the underground and death, black metal, grindcore, all these kind of bands are still going to have their place. You know, they still have the smaller festivals which I love, like Incineration, Bloodstock, Inferno Fest, Steel Fest, all these kind of festivals, which are my personal favourites because they give the smaller bands more time, uh, which I love about 
about those festivals. So they're still going to have the extreme kind of festivals, more heavy style festivals, which I personally really love. But I'm thinking about the bigger festivals because this year's download just didn't do it for me personally, like at all. Like for I, it did it for a lot of people. For me, it's just not. It's not my style. Like, I made Metallica Ramstein. That's like a great headline set for me. It's got fireworks. It's got theatrics. It's got the classic songs, the epic songs. That's what I like. That's what I love. And I feel like the, it's just dead. You know, once they retire, it's fucking dead. And I'll stick to just the underground shows. Because um, I can't think of any of us aside from Ghost that I'd want to actually see headline a big festival. But then the other side of the argument is festivals aren't just about headliners, you know? It's about the atmosphere, it's about the friends, it's about the drinking, it's about the food. Well, the food this year at Darwin was a fucking raw chicken and made like 40 people ill. <laughs> it's about some of the food. Um, and the smaller bands as well, because a lot of the good sets at Download are kind of the smaller bands um, on some of the days, which, you know, I watched Dying Fetus at a tent at Download, and that was fucking phenomenal. That was great. Uh, so they have like these smaller, more extreme bands throughout. I saw Bleed From Within, never heard of them, and then I saw them live a couple of years ago, and I really enjoyed that. So yeah, it's finding out the new bands, exploring all them is also good. So festivals aren't going to die. Um, they're still you know going to be bigger than ever, but I just feel like the headliners are just not going to be the same. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? It depends on the person you ask. For me, bad. For someone else, good. New New life into the festival. Really depends on who you ask. But I'm stuck in the old ways. I like fucking old people's shit. Give me Saxon headlining. Judas Priest headliner. I don't know why Judas Priest doesn't headline. Like, they headline Bloodstock. The smaller extreme festivals. But not Download or fucking, you know, stuff like that. Just fucking shit. England festivals fucking shit. But yeah, that's my little rant. And I want your guys' opinions down in the comments below. Which bands do you think will be the next big headliners? For me, I feel like Ghost is probably going to headline next. Sleep Token could. Aside from that, <sighs> Bremen Horizon's already headlined, so they would be the next big, big bands I'd see headlining, but it's just, yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's just a video of me moaning like an old fart, isn't it? It's great. I love it. That's what the English do. They're good at moaning. Yeah. So yeah, let me know who you think are going to be the next big headliners in the comments below. Be interesting to see your thoughts. And I'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.